Hi, I'm Caitlin. I'm James. I'm Nate. And I'm Brandon. And we are Gen Link. We've all had that one thing that we're just dying to talk about. Maybe it's a favorite show or band or a favorite hobby. Nothing is more disappointing than trying to talk to a friend or family member about your newest obsession and finding that they don't care or perhaps don't even know about it. GenLink is a service connecting users through their specific interests, all the while promoting interconnection between the generations. Our original approach to this was to connect younger and older generations through a pen pal community, <clears throat> um, which would share experiences and foster connection and have minimal technology. Our designs um, can um, convert it into customizable envelopes and a centralized PO box for all the users. With testing and seeing the viability, we saw that it wouldn't be um, as effective as we'd want it to be going through this process. Uh, everything would be managed through us and be costing us more than what we thought was reasonable. So we switched over to a, a very accessible tech, uh, tech app. So for our application prototype, our main concern was accessibility because our app might be able to be used by anyone, even those who may struggle with technology. And to make sure everything was accessible as possible, we utilized a prototyping methodology called subsystem isolation, where each member of our group made one prototype of one of the systems in our web application, just to make sure that everything was, every system was as easy to use as possible. We also had to make sure to get feedback from all of our stakeholders because it, it's such a diverse group. What I learned from this? Well, for one, we uh, got ideas for a lot of new accessibility features to add, such as customizable font sizes and text-to-speech that those who may struggle with reading to their uh, website. We were also advised that we should add block flash report features to our application because that's kind of industry standard. We also set on our logo through this process, and we also uh, were recommended to add things such as a direct messaging and audio calls because they're such a easy-to-use form of communication. So how does all this work? Well, you simply go to our website or download our app and follow the easy steps for making an account. Here you can choose from a plethora of broad interest topics and even add in your own specific interests, such as your favorite bands, books, TV shows, or whatever you choose. You can explore users who have the most topics in common with you or search for keywords to find other users of your same specific interests. To get talking, send a user a chat request. And once they accept, you can communicate in a variety of ways, such as simple messaging, audio or video calls, or by using a voice to text function. The interface is deliberately made simple and easy for older users and offers several customization options to make the app optimal for addressing each user's needs, such as text size, text-to-speech options, and so on. Just to explain uh, some of the, the, the app functionalities, uh, our algorithm picked uh, the most common uh, interest topics here. Um, if the user can find uh, their interest uh, topics here, they can also search. Um, their interest. Uh, this search uh, will pick, uh, will find some keywords from uh, the text box and match with the uh, user's bio. Uh, off of that, um, they can find people with similar interest. Uh, just to uh, demonstrate a quick uh, app, how to use the app. Um, this is uh, the most common interest topics, um, let's say users uh, have an interest on uh, music, they can pick, uh, hit the music button. Uh, once they did that, um, they can find people with similar interest. Um, they have to request and be accepted by the uh, users, other users. Uh, once they're accepted, they can also communicate with uh, regular text. Uh, voice uh, calling and video calling. Moving, moving forward, we're planning to uh, improve the overall design of the app to be more accessible, um, add uh, more functionalities, and uh, improve the safety future by uh, improving, by adding report and block uh, features. Thank you for watching.